Hello, how are you? Hope you're having a beautiful day today, the best day of your life and may peace be upon you. My name is Izdihar. I'm a family financial consultant and I hope stressed up moms take control of their financial life in 10 weeks using simple, manageable and proven solutions. So thank you for hanging out with me today. It has been a true joy having you with me today, each and every one of you. I've got my families, I've got my friends, I've got my coaches from all around the world hanging and it is an absolute honor to be sharing myself with you and spending time with you, okay? So today, we are going to do something fun something fun and before that I just wanted to share look at this isn't this amazing I just got this from a really good friend of mine and an amazing friend such creative person I love the word I love the word energy I love it it's so vibrant so colorful it's calming it is just a burst of energy going forward I'm just so blessed and grateful to have amazing people in your life and I hope that you have amazing people in your life who are going to surprise you with amazing gifts like this every single day and today's topic couldn't be more appropriate because it is about the secrets to effective money management for families the secret to effective money management for families. And I've been talking about this topic a few times now, I mean, a, a few for the last few days, because it is so critical. It is just so critical that families take control of their financial life. And in one particular aspect, I'm gonna be focusing on one thing only out of the money management structure that I proposed, money management solution that I proposed, Okay, so you may or may not know this about me, but since 2009, my husband and I has been investing in ourselves, investing in ourselves in our financial education so that we can be financially literate. I mean, tell me, like, we've gone from personal development, we've gone from uh, personal development to marketing to business to investments to real estate to stocks, just name it. We've spent thousands of dollars in our financial education, we've traveled the world, I've been to New York, I've been to San Antonio, Texas, California, I've been to Bristol, I've been to UK, I've been in Kuala Lumpur, you know, just starting to learn learn and apply learn and apply learn and apply because knowledge turns to power when you apply knowledge turns to power when you apply and what started me off in this journey was there was a moment in my life it was a pretty messy moment of my life when one day a really good friend of mine told me that in six months time my finances was gonna go under that in six months time I was going to go under with my finances. I'm like, no, no way. How is that possible? I've got this, all the Excel sheets going on and everything. And clearly I was in denial. I was in beyond la la land because one, I wasn't earning an income and two, I was living off my savings. So that was not working. It takes someone amazing. It takes someone courageous to be able to share that with me. And I still remember the feeling of, you know, just being a new mom. My son was just a few months old. And just the feeling of, you know, driving back, opening my white door and then opening another door, went through the living room, turned left, put my son down and just completely laid flat on my brown sofa. You know, just completely being paralyzed, being guilty, shameful, being helpless, being powerless. How many of you can relate to that? How many of you know what I'm talking about? And how many of you can actually have actually experienced that? I mean, type in the comment below or leave me a private message because it was one of the worst feeling ever, okay? I don't remember what happened afterwards. Really, it's just gone blank. Just don't, I don't remember what happened. Somehow I get up, you know, to take care of my kid, to take care of my family, but Somewhere along the way, I made a choice. Somewhere along the way, I made a commitment. 
Somehow along the way, I told myself that failure is not an option. I told myself that this isn't going to happen, no matter what. I'm going to do whatever it takes for me to be out of this vicious circle. So I keep on investing myself, keep on learning, you know, and being on six months of, you know, financial mess and going under, like, clearly it's like the end of the world for me. It was a tough time. It was a messy time. But I keep on investing myself, keep on moving forward, keep on taking action, keep on surround myself with amazing people, people who are going to help me, people who are going to push me to be successful. Keep on doing that so that the moment that we can be financially free, the moment for me to be financially free, and get to be able to spend time with my family like I want to be able to spend time with my grandma in Malaysia I want to be able to spend time with my family in Malaysia like whenever there's a celebration psh, I'm there whenever there's a wedding which is gonna have a family wedding I'm there whenever one of my family members is not feeling well you know I'm there whenever my kid has performances fundraising school activities or their recital or their hockey games or whatever it is I'm there whenever it is that my family needs me I'm there so that is the reason that I'm here today because I know what it was like to be in that situation and it's the most horrible feeling in the world and I want you to know that I am here to help so that families can don't have to struggle alone so that families can be free they can be alive they can live life and they can um, be prosperous and successful okay so I want you to know that it is possible to do that okay in one point in my life I didn't think it was but today I'm standing here and yes it is possible so today's topic okay uh, what am I gonna say right I'm gonna review quickly what I have shared before in my previous so don't worry about it if you missed it don't worry about it you can always watch the replay so this is what the lighting's not great but bear with me so this is what the money destructive money um, got it the destructive money management patterns that 80% of the families are doing so what happens when you get a payday you pay other people first and then you last or maybe you don't even get paid or don't even have any savings okay and my solution that is the money destructive money management patterns that is completely messing with all families completely messing with 80% of families and this is what my proposal is first 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 you come first pay yourself first no matter what honor yourself cherish yourself and prioritize yourself okay you come first pay yourself first and create a money management structure money management solutions and then automate that process so that you do only have to do it once and that it will take care of the rest of the things through automation okay and this is my proposal again pay yourself first no matter what you come first then other people and when you pay yourself first Create this various kinds of accounts or jars of envelope and each one of them has a purpose. Each one of them has a purpose to set you up towards financial success. Okay. And yesterday I talked about when you pay yourself first, the financial freedom account jar, the financial freedom account jar. It is the account that is going to set you up towards financial success. Because through that, okay, let's say you buy a property from that account, that property is going to start generating an income. It's going to start generating a passive income. And through that loop, okay, you put money in, it's going to get money back. Put money in, money's working for you. Put money in, it's going to get money working for you. And through that, in 5, 10, 20 years time, whatever it is that your long-term plan is, you will start to see results, okay? So today, I'm just going to be focusing on the second one which is charity which is one of my favorite jars okay here's the thing the most successful people in the world the wealthiest people in the world Bill Gates Warren Buffet JK Rowling Mark Zuckerberg all those people they give millions and billions of dollars away to charity because they understand the law 
They understand the law of giving. In order for you to receive, you must first give. In order for you to receive, you must first give. They understand that law. Hi, Rachel. How are you? Hope you're well. I know you just joined in, but don't worry. You can always catch the replay after this. So catch up the replay because I talk about a few things that you missed. But so don't worry. Okay. So the most successful people, they give billions and billions of dollars to charity because they understand the law. They understand in order for them to be wealthy, they have to give. In order for you to receive, you must first give. The hands that give is better than the hand that <coughs> received. Okay? Look at them. The more they give, the more they're earning. It does not even have a dent on their finances. Like they keep on getting like wealthier and wealthier and wealthier. Because this is the law. They understand that whatever blessing that comes in, whatever income that comes in. They have an obligation, they have a duty to help other people first, other people too, okay? So we live in the world of duality, where you have money coming in for you, you would also want to help others from that income. You also want to help others because you will never be poor when you give to other people. Hi, Marietta, how are you? Happy belated birthday and thank you for tuning in. Oh, we can always catch up the replay afterwards, okay? So the topic today is about the secret to effective money management for families, okay? So I've talked about yesterday, how about paying yourself first, about paying up then other people, then creating a structure. I've also talked about the financial freedom account, which is the account that is to set you towards your financial freedom. If you missed it, don't worry. You can go on my timeline and catch the replay. Today, charity. One of the best thing in the world is to be able to help people. And that's one of the my main intentions of having a business so that I can give millions and millions and millions of dollars away to charity. I do apologize if you hear some noise. I've got my daughter here with me, you know, playing some stuff. So thank you for being generous with me. Okay. So what was I saying again? Okay. Yes. When you give to charity, you will never go poor. And if you asked me personally, how much it will be at least, at least 2.5% of your total income would need to go to charity or to help other people for that purpose. It is a way of, you see, it's just a way to purify your income. You've got a blessing coming in, you're helping other people. It sets the balance, okay, 2.5%. So let's say you're earning $10,000, that would be $10,000, so $250, okay? That's not much. And give not just money, okay? First give that 2.5%, Choose a charity and set it on automation so that every time you're helping other people. And number two is that give not only money. Give whatever it is that you have, your time, your energy, your intellectual, your knowledge, your food. Okay? Give whatever it is that you can and have. Like for example, yesterday, it was a really beautiful day here in California. It was comfortable, it was uh, cozy, it was dimmed, and it was raining. Very, very beautiful day. So I told my husband, you know what? I let him sleep in a little bit. I take care of the family. I take care of um, uh, the kids for the school. Right? So I'm going to sleep in a little bit, and then I'll drop you off to work. He usually cycles to work about five months every day. Um, but because today is the month, this month is the month of Ramadan where we're fasting from sunrise to sunset. I mean, poor guy, he was literally tired. He was, he was so knocked out. So I told him, right, I'm going to send you off to work today. Okay, we only have one car between my husband and I. So I usually get the car, he just cycles. I'm like, okay, so I send him off to work. So when I send him off to work, I drop up the kids, send him off to work. And then obviously I have to pick up the kids and then pick him up again, right? Apart from having so many things to do, I'm like, okay, let me help you, okay? In myself, I told myself, okay, let me help you because when you make people happy and you grant them ease and goodness, the Creator Himself will reward you happiness, ease, and goodness. And then, 
see what happens. This is what I got from my friend just by giving my time and energy, just by helping my husband. Little did I know this thing was going to come. I love it, love it, love it from my friend, from my beautiful, beautiful friend. So it's so important for you to give back whatever it is that you can give. Don't underestimate the power of giving. Okay, let me show another example. Here it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, so every first Wednesday of the month, I would volunteer in my son's class. I would volunteer in Mrs. Sturgo's class and help the other kids. And other parents would do the same thing too, okay? Because, you know, Mrs. Sturgo has about 25 kids. So Mrs. Sturgo needs some help and she really appreciates help from parents. You know, to help certain kids um, take over, I mean, like get focused on their tasks, complete their tasks, and she really appreciates it. Here's the thing, like with the parents' help, you know, but with all the parents' help, my son and his friends, he's only seven years old, he's in first grade, was able to do this, okay? He's able to write, let me go this way, maybe, no, no, okay. He's able to write and draw a good paragraph. Okay? Not only because he has a great teacher, but because of the parents who are continuously volunteering and helping Mrs. Jergo and all the other children there. So this is the results. You know, that every first Wednesday that I'm there, or every whatever it is, other parents that are there, let me read it to you. Okay? It's about what you can create with just a dot. Something in my house that is fun for me to play with. Without it, I wouldn't have a pet to play with. It is our cat. We don't have a cat, but he's saying we have a cat, so it is our cat. Though I like to play with my cat, I don't like it when it bites me. When it's nice to me, I get to pet it. In conclusion, <laughs> yes, he did right. In conclusion, my cat is the best in the world seven years old be able to write this him and his friends that is just super duper awesome that is just amazing you know i didn't know that when i volunteered mrs Sturgo's class this would the, the little things that you do would make a difference you know but helping the kids and the children that completing tasks is just amazing so never underestimate the power of giving because it's the law of reciprocity. I hope I pronounce it well. When you give, you are going to give back. In order for you to receive, you must first give. So give, 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 and give. Be generous. Be generous to the, with yourself. Be generous to the people around you. And that's why it's so important to have this jar, this account of charity, okay? It is designed to specifically with the purpose of you getting more of you getting more out of your income because what you give is you're going to get back yes it is like a it is a 100% win-win investment okay so make sure you've got this jar or account set up 100% every time and give at least 2.5% to charity Give others, help others, be generous with people, be generous with the world, okay? And um, be generous to yourself too. And you do know that when you're being generous, not just with your money, but time, energy, your knowledge, your food, you know? I got this, you know? Probably you've done something good. And this, my son is able to write like this. My son and his friend is able to have those kind of results with just the parents volunteering plus with mrs turgo being an amazing teacher okay so that's it for today if you found if you're tuning in live to my video press one if you're watching a replay plus press two and if you're new and new to my video um, say hi and say three so that I can say hello to you. Well, thank you for spending your time with me today. It has been so fun. I love charity. And recently, my friend, my beautiful friend, Katsita McCanns, invited me, held a fundraising for children of um, blind, the Blind Children's Center. You know, when I got there, um, 
then I donated, got them, did the walk, and I saw that these children, these children, they are disabled. They're they're blind. They're disabled. But the way they see life, the way that it's like they they're unstoppable. It's like they're unstoppable. Like hey, I'm this, but it doesn't matter. You know, life gonna goes on. And the, as a result of the fundraising of the generous giving, the Children's Blind Learning Center are able to help those many different children be successful in their life despite the abilities. Hi RC, how are you? Thank you for watching it. We're almost coming into the end. Don't worry, you can always watch the replay. Thank you for joining me in. I'm just so happy that I got this gift. And um, the result of, as a result of volunteering, hours and hours for myself and um, the other moms so charity be generous 2.5 percent give it every single time at least 2.5 percent on any and every income that you get and start to see how things in your life will shift how things will come to you in abundance how you get unexpected things how you get amazing and beautiful gifts in your life and this kind of thing that you get um, coming in your way so be generous, be kind um, to one another. I sound like Ellen, right? <laughs> Ellen did generous, she always said, be kind to one another, be generous, keep on giving, and um, I will talk to you tomorrow. Have lots of fun, have lots of fun, 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 fun. You can see I'm wearing my bees shirt here today, so I'm gonna be buzzing around. So may peace be upon you, and I'll speak to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.